Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 11th of exercise 9.1 and the question says a TV tower stands vertically on a bank of a canal from a point on the other bank directly opposite the tower the angle of elevation of the tower of the of the top of the tower is 60 degree from another point which is 20 meter away from this point on the line joining this points to the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is 30 degree you have to find the height of the tower and the width of the canal now the question says there is a TV tower which is vertically on the which is vertical on this uh, plain ground and this is the canal so this is the water flowing here this is the one bank on which the star is standing and this is another bank and on from this point this angle of elevation is given to you as in the first case it is given as 60 degrees and it is also given that if I move 20 meter away from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of the tower the angle of elevation is 30 degrees means this is the line which is joining this point and the foot of the tower and if I move 20 meters away the angle of elevation get changed into 30 degrees so you have to find the height of the tower and the width of the canal so you have to find this height of this tower and the width of this canal so you have to find this width where this is given to you as 20 meters so this is given to you as 20 meters you need to find this as well as this if I name these triangles this is A B this can be considered as C and this is D so first of all this diagram is important after that there are two triangles we can clearly see this is the first ABC triangle and the second is ADB triangle in both the triangles you need to find the ratio for 10 theta and you have to substitute the value from one equation into second equation and if you further solve this you will get your answer so in the first triangle which is ABC which is smaller triangle 10 theta will be equal to perpendicular upon base and in the smaller triangle the theta is given to you as 60 degrees so this will be 10 60 degrees will be equal to perpendicular and the perpendicular is basically the side opposite to this theta which is this in this case it is considered as h meters and the base will be x meters the value of 10 60 degrees is root 3 so this will be h upon x so the value of x here will be h upon root 3 I have replaced these two values so the x I have replaced here and the root 3 is replaced here so the value of x will be h upon root 3 so this will be the first equation here now in the second triangle which is the bigger one which is ADB again I have to find the ratio for 10 theta that will be equal to perpendicular upon base theta here is 30 degrees so 10 30 degrees will be equal to perpendicular which in this case is considered as H here the perpendicular will remain same for both the triangles because for this triangle also this is the side opposite to this theta and in bigger triangle this is the same side opposite to this theta also so the height will remain the same but for this triangle base will change because for this bigger triangle base will be this complete one which is 20 plus x meters so this base will be 20 plus x meters the value of 1030 is 1 upon root 3 that will be equals to h upon 20 plus x if I cross multiply this this will be 20 plus x will be equals to h root 3 this multiplied by 1 will remain same and h multiplied by root 3 will give h root 3 now 
I have to find the value of x first of all. Now I can substitute the value of x from here into this second equation. This is our second equation. So substituting the value of x from first into second, I'll get my answer. This will be 20 plus the value of x here is h upon root 3. This will be h root 3. I have to find the value of x and I can shift this h to the right hand side and this will be equals to 20 and h root 3 and this this value when shifted to that side will become minus if i take h as common take h as common so that your calculation will be easy don't substitute the value of h uh, root 3 as 1.73 direct here so if i take h as common root 3 will remain here and minus h is taken out so only 1 upon root 3 will remain inside the bracket now this is the fraction here to solve the fraction you have to take the LCM LCM of 1 and root 3 will be 3 cross multiplying 3 multiplied by 3 will be 3 and 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1 so 3 minus 1 will be 2 and h multiplied by this 2 will be 2h upon root 3 and this will be 20 this is 3 minus 1 is 2 and 2 multiplied by this h will be 2h upon root 3 and if you have to find the value of h you have to shift this constant to the left hand side and whenever fraction is shifted from the equals to sign it gets reciprocal means denominator will become numerator and numerator will become denominator so this will become root 3 upon 2 so the h will be equal to 10 root 3 so here this complete height must be equal to 10 root 3 meters this can be further solved 10 root 3 is 1.73 so this will be 17.3 meters so this will be the answer here similarly you also need to find the width of the canal which is this x this is the width of the canal so if you want to find the value of x you have to substitute the value of h from this equation to this equation. It's better you substitute this value of h instead of this because this, this will be, again will make your calculation lengthy. So I'm substituting the value here. The value of h is 10 root 3 upon this is root 3. This can be cancelled. The x will be 10. The value of this x will be 10 meter that is the width of this canal. So this is how you can solve this question also. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.